fan bumps. The advantages of fan bumps. The advantages of fan bumps are self priming robust and supply constant delivery at a given speed. And they provide uniform discharge with negligible positions. And their vents are self compensating for wear and fans can be replaced easily. These bumps do not require check valves. And they are light in weight and compact. They can handle liquids containing fibers and gases. Also, volumetric and overall efficiencies are high. And this charge is less sensitive to charges in viscosity and pressure variations. The disadvantages of fan pumps. Relief valves are required to protect the pump in case of sudden closure of delivery. And they are not suitable for abrasive liquids. And they are required good cells. And they are required good filtration systems. And foreign particles can severely damage the pump. Balanced fan pumps. The advantages of balanced fan pumps. The balanced pumps eliminate the bearing side loads and therefore high operating pressure can be used. And the surface life is high compared to the unbalanced type due to less wear and tear. The disadvantages of balanced fan pumps. They are fixed displacement pumps and design is more complicated and the manufacturing cost is high compared to the unbalanced type. So now I will explain about the application of the vane pump. Okay, firstly, in automotive industry, vane pump can be found in power steering system. Vane pumps are used to transfer hydraulic fluid in power steering system and in braking system. Vane pumps are used to transfer hydraulic fluid in braking system and in automatic transmission system. Vane pumps are used to transfer transmission oil. And in air conditioning system, wind pumps are used to transfer refrigerant throughout the air conditioning system. And then we move to aviation industry. For aircraft refueling process, wind pumps are used to refuel the aircraft. And for the fuel transfer inside the aircraft, wind pumps are used to transfer fuel from fuel tank to the engines. And for the icing system, Wind pumps are used to transfer hot air throughout the de-icing system. And in gyroscopic flight instruments, vacuum wind pumps are used to drive gyroscopic flight instruments. And then we move to oil and gas industry. For the LPG cylinder filling, wind pumps are used to fill and compress butane and propane gases into the LPG cylinder. And in oil and gas separation system, Vacuum pump are used to separate oil and gas molecule. Then in food industry, for food packaging, vacuum vent pumps are used to remove, remove air from the food packaging for sailing process. And in beverage vending machine, we can find vent pumps that are being used as dispensers in beverage vending machine to produce soft drinks and coffees. Hello, my name is Sagin Seker. I'm going to explain about the efficiency of wind pump. First of all, this data is obtained from internet since I have no facility to conduct my own experiment. I have analyzed accordingly to the data. There are two plotted graphs. These graphs are about the volumetric efficiency of wind pump at different speeds. According to my analysis, the wind pump volumetric efficiency at 1200 rpm decreases from 97.3 at 500 psi to 84% at 2500 psi. The wind pump volumetric efficiency is 5% higher than the georotor pump. And due to its construction, the leakage flow in wind pump is lesser than the georotor pump thus the volumetric efficiency is higher there are two plotted graphs about the overall efficiency of wind pump at different speed after i analyzing that i get to know that the pump has same high speed characteristic with georotor pump the volumetric efficiency is higher as the shaft speed 
is increased higher and I also get to know that the overall performance of hydraulic wind palm efficiency is low at lower pressures as the working pressure increases the overall efficiency also increases this table contain the pump speed and efficiency of wind pump as conclusion the hydraulic wind pump overall efficiency is much lower than the volumetric efficiency the overall efficiency includes the friction and the leakage power losses thank you hello everyone my name is Chin Jun Hao I will present example and calculation for wind pump in example 1 I wrote Dutchy wear batch equation as shown as the below the hash F is the frictional head F is the Dutchy friction factor which is a function of the Raynaud number and the bike roughness V is the velocity of the fluid and G is the acceleration gravity For the head minor loss equation equal to the square of velocity divided by the 2G times the care factor The care factor has modeled empirically according to the ratio of the diameter by the 0.42 times the 1 minus the ratio of the diameter square To analyze the efficiency of the pump itself requires knowledge of the amount of work of the pump access upon the gas being compressed. This equation as shown below is only suitable when ideal gas is used and in isothermal process. Work required to change from the volume V1 to V2 can be expressed as integrate the P pressure with derivative of V. Pressure equal to the MRT divided by the V. MRT are constant and bring outwards and integrate 1 over V. The equation after integrate equal to MRT times logarithm base E V2 divided by V1. In example 2, the dimension of the measuring tank is given. The line is 365 mm and width is 362 mm. Why we should know the dimension of the measuring tank? This is because later on we have to calculate and measure the volume rise of the measuring tank in a certain period. Eventually, we will know the output power and efficiency of the wind pump. Taking second reading for calculation, first of all, we have to find the delivery flow rate. Firstly, the initial reading of measuring tank equal to A and final level of measuring tank equal to B. The time taken equal to the T. And the height H equal to A minus B. The height equal to the 10 minus 3 equal to 7 cm and 0 0.0. 7 meter. The volume of the rise of rate is equal to length time width time height. Volume equal to 0 0.365 times 0 0.262 times 0 0.07 equal to 6.6941 10 power negative 3 meter cube. The delivery flow rate equal to volume time sorry divided by T equal to 6.6941 times 10 power negative 3 divided by 23.5 equal to 2.84 times 10 power negative 4 meter cube per second for pump input power equal to 3600 divided by 200 times t the 200 is the energy meter constant and then T is time for 10 pulses equal to 0 0.64 kilowatt 
for the pump output power is equal to delivery pressure times flow rate equal to 10 times 104 times 9.81 times 2.84 times 10 power negative 4 equal to 0 0.278 kilowatt The efficiency of the pump formula equal to output power divided by the input power equal to 0 0.278 divided by 0 0.64 equal to 0 0.434 and equal to 43.4 percent Next, I'm going to discuss how we find the eccentricity and the quality of the discharge by the wind pump first of all let the dc be the diameter of the can ring emitter dr equal to the diameter of rotor emitter l is the width of the rotor emitter e is the eccentricity emitter vd is the pump volume displacement emitter cube per revolution and the e max is the maximum possible eccentricity emitter in the equation shown as below the maximum possible eccentricity equal to the diameter of the can ring minus the diameter of the rotor divided by 2 Next, the maximum value of eccentricity produces the maximum volumetric displacement. The maximum volumetric displacement equal to pi over 4 times the square of diameter of the can ring minus the square of diameter of rotor times the width of rotor. After simplify the equations, the maximum volumetric displacement equal to pi over 2 times diameter of the carrying plus the diameter of the rotor times the eccentricity the quality of the discharge by the wind pipe is equal to the volumetric displacement which is pi over 2 times the diameter of the carrying plus diameter of the rotor times the eccentricity here is the one of the calculation using the equation in example 3 a wind pump has a rotor diameter of 63.5 mm a carrying diameter of 88.9 mm and a wing width of 50.8 mm what must be the eccentricity for it to have a volumetric displacement of 115 cm cube? The volumetric displacement is equal to pi over 2 times diameter of a carrying plus diameter of rotor times the eccentricity. Now we're going to substitute all the value into the volumetric displacement therefore the eccentricity equal to 9.456 times 10 power negative 3 meter now i will summarize all of the topic about wind pump A rotary wind pump is a positive displacement pump that consists of wind mounted to a rotor that rotate inside a cavity. In some cases, these wings can have variable length or be tensioned to maintain contact with the walls as the pump rotates. It was invented by the Charles. Wind pump has many advantages such as it can provide uniform discharge with negligible pulsation. It can self bring robust and supply constant delivery at a given speed it has a high volumetric and overall efficiency and it has less discharge in the change in the velocity and pressure variations 
On the other hand, vampires are not suitable for abrasive liquid. It requires good seals and when palm require a good filtration system. Application of the wind pump in automotive aviation, oil and gas industry and food industry. The overall performance of hydraulic pump sorry hydraulic wind pump efficiency is low at lower pressure as the working pressure increase the overall efficiency also increase. The pump has the same high speed characteristic with the jaw rotor pump. The volumetric efficiency is higher as the shaft speed is increased.